everybody and today we're gonna do a little uh, cruise in the mark 4 with Philbert uh, let you guys enjoy some of the exhaust notes inside the car um, we are still on a bass tune because my fuel pump that I had wasn't good so we're getting a new fuel pump uh, so the for a high performance so we can actually get turn the boost up and you know be able to enjoy Filbert at its maximum performance so today we're just gonna have a quick quick cruise and let's see how you guys like the car sounds and pretty much uh, enjoy it for how it is right now um, we can call this car more a really well tuned 1.8 T <laughs> with a big turbo A rough start because I'm not getting enough fuel on startup and since we're also on a bass tune the car is gonna not be as great so I'll let that start up for a little bit but yeah I mean this is a, a Filbert and he, he does, he's been doing really well. I mean, <coughs> we've gotten about a good 6,000 miles in it already. Um, and he's been running really, really strong. I mean, I took him all the way to Vegas and back without a single hiccup. Not even overheating once. And especially that long, long hill that you had to take. And I had the trailer with it as well. So I'm very, very satisfied on the car's performance. Um, build quality quality that we've gotten with it um, I'm very happy that you guys were able to enjoy that with me um, last season on PGL's garage so you know like I promised I'm gonna be doing more uh, Filbert stuff with you guys you know meaning we're gonna be doing more fun stuff you know on, on top of not just you know building a car we're actually gonna be doing um, you know burnouts and stuff so not yet but we're gonna give you guys a quick flyby and drive by with it uh, and see how you guys like how the car uh, sounds and you know runs you know the, it's got a good little exhaust note you know so let's go let's go to I'm on my way to actually the auto zone so um, to pick up some wheel bearings for the mark II. Uh, we're gonna see if we can order some European parts, not the uh, Duralast ones, but uh, higher end aftermarket stuff from uh, uh, AutoZone. So let's make our way down that way. So the car's not fully warmed up, so. I'm not going to be able to gun it per se, but you'll be able to hear it. It's a good noise. I'm still going to add a resonator to the exhaust. It's still, it's just got a bit too much noise for me, especially here in California. Um, we want to keep the noise down so we don't attract too much attention. but an up-to-date review um, I put more than 10,000 miles on these bear bags and all I can say is that I am satisfied on Raceland airbags you guys are awesome uh, 
Thank you again uh, for an awesome set of airbags that I paid full price for, FYI guys. Because they didn't like the way I made the video and they didn't provide the proper tools so I can get my discount with them. But I don't care. I got what I wanted. But yes, these bags are definitely worth the dollar. I've had, I've already installed uh, these airbags on already on three other cars uh, because of my DIY, because of my review, and people are actually enjoying them. But you know, I pre warn you guys that it is a very um, stiff suspension, not bouncy, because there's a difference between bouncy and stiff. Um, Bouncy is like more like the, the suspension isn't absorbing the shock, where this is absorbing it, but it's making you feel it more. So. Here at Philbert, it sounds pretty decent. We're here at AutoZone, so I'll come back in a little bit. And uh, show you guys another, you know, we'll drive around a little bit more. So I'll be right back. I'll take a little bit longer route home. So, struck out. They don't have the wheel bearings here for my Corrado, or for my Mark II. Uh, so I have to head over to the other AutoZone, which is Crosstown. Not bad. Sorry for all the noise, but I got to air up. But that gives you guys a chance to see Filbert a little bit more and how we drive and enjoy Filbert. So let's go. Five to seven psi, maybe less. I don't honestly know. Um, I have all my boost gauges and stuff coming soon, but I haven't gone to that point yet in my life to get that going. But yeah, it's vi a very vital part. But that's why I don't run the car really hard. I literally cruise it all day. Gonna get ready to put all that stuff in soon. Make a DIY for that. <laughs> About the same distance um, that I drove to get to this auto zone by my house too. Um, I go to this one because this is the one I work at uh, part time. I work about 10 to 12, uh, 10 to 14 hours a week there, sometimes 20 uh, at that auto zone. I'm one of the managers there. Uh, it's pretty chill. I just don't want to work there anymore. <laughs> I, I like my one job and chilling and being able to do more DIYs with you guys but that will become that will happen I um, promise you guys I will be quitting and making more DIYs for you guys but now we just have to wait Now, 
Uh, one of the other big issues that I've, I've had with this car uh, is the exhaust crackling and popping. Believe me, I love the noise. It's just, for the popo, it just screams modified. And I need to figure out a way to not bring that kind of attention to my car. And doing some research online, we're going to have to run a, a resonated exhaust. Which will, number one, drop the amount of noise. Number two, calm the crackling and popping noise. Um, which I'm pretty happy about that I'll end up doing with it. It's just... It's money. It's always money. Just cutting our way through Escondido here. That was a crappy shift. This is our uh, Grand Street, or I like to call it Main Street. This street, every Friday after three o'clock, they they uh, close down all the side streets uh, around here, left and right, and they do something called Cruising Grand, where it's full left and right side of the road with classic cars. Um, it's awesome because it brings a lot of business to local to local uh, you know mom and pop shops. Uh, you know, family-owned restaurants and stuff like this. Everything that's here is all family-owned and it's non-franchised. So there's some really cool bars here and some really cool restaurants. And during this time of year, um, which goes from April to September, which is amazing, it brings a lot of money to these little shops that deserve this kind of attention, which is really, really awesome. You know. Because some of these places make amazing food and it's just like, man, I hope they don't go out of business. And a lot of places here go out of business because there's not enough business. You know, that's the only time they make their business during the rest of the year that's not around. I and mean, it's a big chunk of the year, don't get me wrong. But they don't make a lot of money. I love coming down here during this time of year. Um, there's an awesome, uh, uh, there's an, uh, oh my god, popcorn stand that makes a, uh, geez, I forgot the name of the popcorn. Kettle corn, oh my god. They make kettle corn fresh there. So good, so good. For five bucks, you get like a two pound bag of freaking popcorn, it's ridiculous. It's really, really good. And usually we buy one of those bags and it'll last us like three days. It's so good. Um, not just recognize somebody. I might come back and say what's up. I think I recognize someone up here. One of our uh, club members. Um, so yeah. We're almost there to the Valley Parkway Auto Zone. Pretty much made a giant U-turn. But I took the long way to show you guys. You know, you guys can enjoy Filbert a little bit. You know, and his awesome noise that he makes. You guys can see for how I drive. I'm a very conservative driver. I'm more uh, defensive than you know aggressive. Uh, believe me, I don't want to be in a car accident again. I don't want to have a car catching on fire. I mean, just it's just it's been so long. I don't want to have this happen again. 
I'm gonna build a different car than a Mark, another Mark IV. <laughs> so you'll notice I don't drive very fast at all. I keep it to the speed limit most of the time. Yeah, there's a lot of lights here. It's annoying to go anywhere. A light there, a light here, a light there. Oh, I'm gonna make the right turn. I'm gonna have to wait for a light. Right, we're almost there. We're right over at the shopping center. But I mean, hopefully you guys enjoy. You know the car. I wish I can go all out with it, uh, but I can't yet. Um, Wait until I get everything tuned and dial in. Um, and that is also going to be another uh, stream for you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how we do the remote tuning, how we're going to do all the other fun stuff with it. And then we'll have some some freaking fun because we got to do some data logging too. And we got to go wide open for all that. One thing that I did learn when I was in Japan, that everybody backs into every parking spot. You'll never see anybody parking uh, straight in a parking spot due to the fact to space, which is really interesting. Um, it's easier to back into parking spots than it is to uh, get out, I guess, in parking spots. So I've been keeping with that tradition here too. I like to back in. Also, the car looks good too, so can't argue that. You know. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So we're back at it again. Got my wheel bearings for the Mark II slash Corrado because uh, I'm using the Corrado brakes on it. So <clears throat> that's all done. Let's get out of here. Yay! So we got a couple ways to get home. I'm gonna go out there and probably a safer way to deal with the light over here. Uh, over here. The only downside of this side is that there's a lot of um, there's a gigantic speed bump, but. We have airbags, so. Speed bump, what? Ain't nobody care about your speed bump. Ooh. Now we're in the back, a different story. That hitch I got in the back sits just a little bit too low. But, you know, just drive a little slower and solves the problem. I just wanted to give you guys a little cruise around with Philbert and give you guys some more information about what's going on. Oh boy, I haven't done any more updates on Philbert because, well, I can't. I need more, uh, more fuel to have more power. <laughs>
there's a GLI over there that's poor little car is beat. Uh, so sad. Stupid fast because I uh, don't want to have any problems in city areas and whatnot. But when it's wide open like that straightaway, I, I open her up every now and then. cruise with me. I definitely had fun. Just go pick up some wheel bearings. So I'll see you guys later. Alright, because I'm home now. So peace out, and as always, remember, you're going to break, fix, and repeat. Peace.